Hello, this is Dr. C. Alex Young from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center for The Sun Today. It's June 8th, 2011. I hope everyone is as excited as I am about this amazing, spectacular event that we saw yesterday. This huge prominent eruption, prominence eruption with CME, a solar flare, and a particle storm. And what I want to do is give a quick overview of some of the aspects of this event, give you some perspective on scale, and I also wanted to uh, bring out the point that even though this event may have some minor effects on Earth, this is not really a huge space weather event, and so it's not something that we should really be concerned about. Now we'll just take a look at just the 304 angstrom image giving us a look at 80,000 or so degrees material and I just wanted to give you a perspective on the size because the Sun is so unbelievably huge and so this event is really hard for all of us to uh, put into perspective with our daily life so what I've done is I've put a couple of green dots on here these are roughly the size of the earth and I've put a bar that's about 50 earths in, in, in length and so you can see that these blobs of plasma that are hitting the surface of the Sun are roughly the size of the earth and this huge plasma cloud that expands out covers almost half the size of the Sun and that's just that's just amazing so let's take a look quickly at the coronal mass ejection we'll see this material coming out and this is coming out from the Sun about a thousand kilometers a second so this is a billion tons of material and magnetic field traveling at several million miles per hour or several million kilometers per hour and then you can see all this snow on the image and that's actually high energy particles that are impacting the camera on the spacecraft and you can even see a planet can you guess which planet that is so we want to conclude with the solar flare that was produced it gave a, a minor radio blackout but this was one on a scale of one to five and the particle storm was one on the scale of one to five so these are considered minor storms by NOAA and NOAA not only monitors the weather on Earth, but is our agency that monitors the weather from space. And then lastly, the CME is probably only going to, only, only going to brush the magnetic field of the Earth. And if it does, we may have a minor magnetic storm, again on a scale one, on a scale of one to five. But this may mean some aurora, so keep your eyes out. Thank you very much. Join us over at thesuntoday.org. Don't forget all the great videos you can make at helioviewer.org. And you can join us on Facebook and YouTube at The Sun Today. Thanks again.